Hey, what's up? This is James with Cork here with some tips to help you get more chaos out of your chaos alert. Let's start with a really cool trick that lets you actually double the recording memory in your Chaosolator, allowing you to record four measures instead of the usual two. Press and hold the loop record play and tap BPM buttons while powering up the Chaosolator. The screen will immediately show the letters D, L, and Y. Once you've seen this, let go of the buttons and the Chaosolator will appear to perform its normal boot up sequence. And once that's complete, press the same two buttons again, which brings you into the loop length selection screen. Use the value dial to scroll from the previous maximum of 8 beats to 16 beats. This gives you four measures. Press the scale button twice to leave the mode. Now that you've done that, you can record four measures. change things up a little bit when creating a loop or when performing, try this trick to build in a break. Once your pattern is recorded, press the loop record play and tap BPM buttons together to enter the loop length selection screen. This is normally done prior to recording your pattern, but when done after, rotating the dial counterclockwise cuts the loop perfectly in half, then in half again, all the way down to a 30 second of a beat. Note that in a four measure mode, these breaks get recorded as part of the pattern. The Chaos Later offers 50 arpeggiator patterns, which can be applied to any sound and recorded as part of your loop. But what if you have a specific rhythm pattern in mind? Use this method of trigger recording to capture your own rhythmic patterns. Instead of holding the loop record play button and recording through the whole pattern, try trigger recording with it. Hold down in one area of the pad and use the record button to enter your notes. For more information on Chaosolator, visit www.corgchaosolator.com or the all-new www.corg.com.